dear students once again welcome to this youtube channel the question is find the magnitude and direction of the resultant of two vectors a and b in terms of their magnitudes and angle theta between them okay let us to draw these two vectors as the two adjacent sides of a parallel line c so this one is the first vector you can call this as a this one is the second vector you can call it as b these two acting at a point o so now theta is the angle between these two theta is the angle between these two vectors clear yeah. so now let us to draw these two vectors as the line op and ok see angle p o q is theta ok so now you have to draw two more lines which are parallel to o p and o q Divided by PS 
S n divided by P s. That is S n equal to P s into sin theta. That is S n equal to P s means vector b sin theta. How that P s means vector b means this P s is having the same length as O q. And which is parallel, so therefore these two vectors are say equal. Okay, and we have to write cos function. That is cos theta is base by hypotenuse. That is P n divided by P s. So that is. P n equal to P s into cos theta. So therefore, this P n is B cos theta. B cos theta. Okay. Now, our aim is to measure the line O s and angle alpha. So these two are the magnitude and The direction of R. Okay. So now, in this figure, from figure of in triangle O N S, we write by using Pythagoras theorem. As P S T O S square equal to O S square equal to O N square plus S N square. So this O S is R. That is result R square. O N we don't know. But we can write O n as O p plus p n. It's a square. And uh, S n from this S n as p sine theta. It's a square. So now R square equal to O p as a p n as b cos theta plus B square sine square theta. So now same as x plus y whole square as x square plus y square plus two x one in place of x a in place of y b cos theta plus this one is as usual. B square cos square theta. Sorry, B square sin square B square sin square theta. See here we can write B square bracket cos square theta plus sin square theta. B square is common. Plus two AB cos theta. So R square equal to A square plus B square plus two AB cos theta. Because cos square theta plus sin square theta is one, B square into one is B square. So this is the Magnitude of resultant, or also we can write R equal to square root of a square plus b square plus two ab cos theta. Okay, so this one is the magnitude. Now.
direction of r direction of r okay so direction is expressed in terms of angle so direction of r so in the same figure or from triangle o and s is the right angle triangle okay tan alpha alpha is the direction of resultant tan alpha equal to opposite divided by adjacent side that is on sn divided by on okay so tan alpha equal to sn see sn is b sin on on see from here on is op plus bn and op plus bn as a plus b cos theta and we directly a plus b cos theta because we have already known this on is op plus bn as a plus b cos theta so this one is the direction of resultant of two vectors okay means the effect of two vectors along os and its direction tangent of alpha is b sin theta upon a plus b cos theta and this one is the resultant magnitude of the resultant of two vectors is it clear okay note down okay so now some special cases now if theta equal to 0 it means vector a and vector b are in the same direction then r equal to c r equal to what happens if theta equal to 0 cos 0 value is 1 r square equal to a square plus it becomes 2 a b or a plus b whole square so we we'll get r as a plus b r as a plus b now if theta equal to 90 degree that is two vectors which are perpendicular to each other then the direction of the resultant r is square root of a square plus b square because cos 90 value is 0 so we get r equal to square root of a square plus b square next if theta equal to 180 degree that is two vectors are in opposite direction okay then r is cos 180 value is minus 1 so a square plus b square minus 2 a b you can write it as a minus b whole square so that is r equal to plus or minus a minus b okay or simply the magnitude of r is the difference of these two and the direction of the resultant in this case is along the direction of the vector having more magnitude if the magnitude of a is greater than that of b then the direction of the resultant is along the direction of a if if the vector b the magnitude of the vector b is more than that of a 
then the direction of the resultant is along B. Okay. So in this case, we can draw first case. This one is the vector A. Vector B. Both are in same direction. In this case, vector A and vector B are perpendicular. And in last case, vector A, vector B are opposite direction. Okay. So the direction of the resultant is just the difference of these two and along the direction of higher vector. Okay. So means which one is having larger the uh, the direction of the resultant is along that vector. So these are the some special cases in this. Clear? Okay. Thank you.